This is Kef Weir. I am the chief of the Corn Channel, even though it's a democracy. Don't ask him. I know. <laughs> um, so, a lot of the people in the corn community have been asking me to do a video explaining how the corn language works, because it's kind of hard to understand from my 17-page Word document that I'm just rambling on, which makes sense. Um, so, yeah. Just remember, this is my first con lang. I've never done this before, so it's pretty trash. <laughs> but um, yeah, let's let's get into it. So, the language of corn. I have briefly descri described it in some other things. You heard it in um, corn, but we speak the language video. If you've seen all of our other videos. Um, so there's two dialects, Western and Northern. There's not much difference. And if you want the lore, you can go to the document. I'm not explaining that here. Um, so the alphabet is probably what we're going to get into today. We might move in. Okay, we'll do the alphabet and how they sound. And then we'll get into accent marks. And maybe we'll probably end it there. Okay. <clears throat> So, the, the alphabet is the same as in English, so it's all 26 letters, um, minus a few. So, like, we don't have C, because C is kind of stupid to begin with. Um, and any other letter that I thought we just didn't need. So, we're going to go through it now. Um, our first letter is A, which is always pronounced like A. Every letter is pronounced the same way, minus one technicality, which we will get to later. So A is eight. You know, it's always pronounced like the A in eight. And the letter we also call eight, too. Um, B is bes. D is des. E is et. So E will always be pronounced like the E in episode. Um, F is fet, H is het. Now, with H, if it's a regular H and it's in front of a T, it makes a th sound like in the word think or thick, thick. Um, I will always make the E sound like in Spanish, so this letter is pronounced yet. Um, J is like the J in, um, Dutch or German, so it's yot. It's always like a Y, in, like in yes. K is ket. L is lut. Um, M is met. N is net. Uh, now O is the one letter I hate because onions have to exist because stupid onions, you know. I don't love those onions. Um, that will always be pronounced like O, so it's O's. O's. Um, P is pet. Now Q is a little weird. Q is guttural. It's a, it's a, it's it's a guttural sound. So it is pronounced chet. I know, beautiful, right? Mm. So chet. Um, R is ret, like in Spanish, you know, like a trilled R, ret. Now this is only, it, it only changes, this is the one technicality. R is pronounced like an R in English if it's at the end of a word. Because if the, if an R is at the end of the word, or if an IR is at the end of the word, it basically makes it plural. So if I wanted to say... Um, I don't know, friend. Oh, I did it in the beginning. If I want to say one friend, it's kepwol. If I want to say more than one friend, it's kepweer. So, um, and since we're getting into plurals, actions and actions, so like verbs, also have to be plural. So that's why when I said hello in the beginning, 
it, I didn't say Benze, I said Benzir. Because I have to say, it's basically like saying hello's friends. It doesn't make sense. But in corn it does. So just, just go along with it. Um, S is set. T is tas. U is ut. And it'll always make it sound like an uh. So like V is vas, W is was, X is jot, Y is is. So Y is always going to be pronounced like the Y in gym. So it's like i. i. And then Z is zes. Um, so diacritic marks, if there's a little squiggly over the A, then that makes it a nasal sound. So like when you're nose get clogged up, you know, then you you have to make it sound like that. So like, ah, uh, you, it's got to be nasal when you say the, when you say the A. Um, the I with a backwards accent, that is pronounced like I in English, you know. Um, the O with a line through it makes an O sound. The E with a hat makes an ah sound, so like an entourage, ah. Um, the H with a line through it is used to separate words, sounds, and it makes one other sound. So let me explain. If I wanted to say big flower, I would say, I would say tata bebo. But in writing, I would need to use the H with a line through it in order to um, separate the sound slash word. Um, so yeah, that's really all it's there for. Besides, if it's in front of a T, the H with a line, if it's in front of a T, that makes a th sound, like an there or the. It, that's, that's the sound it makes. And the last thing is the N with a squiggly line over it. It's just like in Spanish, it's a ña. Not nia, nia. Um, and every letter must be pronounced minus the the H with a line, because that doesn't make a sound. So, you know, you can't skip a letter like in English. You gotta or French. You gotta say every single letter. So, um, just some quick vowel combinations. I O is EO, um, AI is IE, OE is OE, YU is E, AU is AE, AO is AO, EI is E. Now, one I would make E. Two I's makes E. Just insert Markiplier, E. Um, and then two E's, that would make uh, so it, a double E is basically just you rise the first E and then you bring it down to the second E. So, eh, eh, because you can't do eh, you gotta do eh. God, this is so stupid. Um, so, ni, that's ni. So, don't get it confused with ni, it's ni. Um, and then we already went over the THs and how IR means plural. So, quick thing about the IR. If a word ends in a consonant, you just add the IR. So, but if it ends in a vowel, you take off the last vowel and you replace it with IR. So, let's say the word was pebble, okay, flower. So... You take off the O and you put IR. How weird. More than one flower. Um, and then apostrophes are almost, they're, they're only used for negative tense and affirmative tense, which we will get to later. Probably in the next video. Um, the grammar is SVO, so same as in English. You know, if I wanted to say you love me, April May Desme, it's the same thing. Uh, adjectives are the exact same thing. If I wanted to say, you know, beautiful, strong, 
yellow corn, you would just say, Fanyu pem chomeis, the strong yellow corn. Um, and that's all we're going to get to today because this is 10 minutes. This is automatically the longest video. Um, so, yeah, put any other questions you have in the comments, and I will explain further in the next video. Okay, look, I get it. This wasn't an exciting video. So, you know what? Fine. I will stab an onion for you. Because, you know what? I will stab it with two pens at the same time because you guys are just hungry for onion blood. Okay, see? Happy? I swear I'm not a serial killer. Okay, bye-bye.